Hello everyone, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Castilian colonization campaign. I'm thinking... Oh, damn it. What claims is Aragon gonna have? Hmm. Okay, well, I was gonna attack Piso. Because I was thinking Aragon had a claim on the provinces, but they don't. Once again, Aragon disappoints me. So I think I'm gonna attack Milan. Should give me 10 power projection. Boost it up above 50. I am waiting for a Spy Network to be completed in Yolov. And my three colonies are halfway. So, I don't... I don't really understand what's going on with Milan and Florence. It will be considered a co-belligerent in the war. Oh, okay. Yeah, Florence is the emperor. Okay, that's what I was missing. Yeah, I film this ahead, so if you say Florence is the emperor, I won't see it. So, that's what I forgot. So if Florence is the Emperor, I kind of wanted to get to Florence to burn it down, to get rid of their Continental Art and Intellectual Center. So if they're the Emperor, all I have to do is attack somebody in the Empire, and they will join. So that makes things a little bit easy. I was gonna attack Pisa to get to them, but if they if they're in the Emperor, then uh, I just have to find somebody in the Empire that I can attack that isn't Milan. Because I don't want to fight uh, Milan, Genoa, and Florence. I re-allied France, so if I called in France, then I could potentially do that, but. I don't have enough favors with friends. I don't think there's any targets that I could attack to call in Florence. Because Genoa hasn't really gotten any claims. Siena would transfer trade power. Then again, I'm not collecting. How much would they transfer? Instead of collecting in Egypt, I could potentially collect in the Tyrrhenian and then have Siena transfer. Uh, it's only 10%, so I don't think that would be much at all. So I don't think I'm going to... I'm not going to go to war with anybody over there. I am instead going to go to war with Tunis. So they're a uh, potential target. Kaibala has claims on all these provinces. These three at least. So 
So I will do that. I could attack the Mamluks and loot this region. The only thing is I'm kind of scared that if I do that, then it would weaken them. So much that uh, the Ottomans could just step in and conquer whole, uh, Karaman territory and then Mamluk territory wholesale. So I'll wait until the Mamluks, or the Ottomans hopefully are beaten back. It looks like they're losing their war with Hungary. Which is good. I'd rather it be the Empire of the Romans, but as long as they lose. They've conquered a lot of territory in Europe. I eclipsed Milan. So I did get some 10 power projection for that, which is basically the same as attacking them. North Africa is being converted. Almost all of Morocco is now Christian. Nice, just uh, three provinces down here. Kaibala is slowly converting. Tlemcen is soon to reach the threshold where they convert as well. And it looks like these are all... The majority of these are accepted cultures, except over here. These are accepted cultures. Okay, well, everything but these two provinces looks to be accepted or tolerated or whatever in the same group so that's only negative two percent missionary strength reduction instead of negative six so just these two will be a problem for Tlemcen to convert Conquer the rest of their territory. Give this to Kaibala. Kaibala, Kaibala. Sunni fanatics, that's uh, rather convenient. They rose up right next to... You stay right there, you go over there. that to Kaibala. And 
they can walk over there. It's actually 99%, so... I think I'll give all this to Kaibala. They can convert that stuff. Alright, Tunis is practically gone. Let's load these guys back up. So I'm telling Aragon to get a claim on those provinces. It's the only these two provinces should be the only thing they're trying to get claims on. Move them back. So I still want to build a world-famous university and a warehouse district. It's going to be a little bit more money now. Trade Dockland was built. So that's fine. It's ideal, actually. Trade Dockland's pretty good. We'll reduce communication efficiency, increase the wealth of the province, so I'm not complaining about it. I just can't build it anymore. Oh boy, 13 ducats. War reps from Tunis. My... Send missionaries to convert primitives. Something new. My church influence is 80%. Yeah, I'll get it. 85% is fine. I don't think I have, uh... The manpower? Thing. I now have tribals. It's kind of weird, because I didn't take any new territory. It'll probably go away. See, my stability points are at 101. Should probably revoke something. I was going to do something else though. Okay, uh, manpower. Alright, that should give me plentiful manpower, which will boost my economy.
Let's have these guys. Privateer. Plentiful manpower. Golden Discovery, Cibola. Okay, so I still was doing it actually, that's nice. Wealth comes in many different, unless, okay, um, let's read this. Wealth comes in many different packages and ways. Some claim that the wealth of heart is much to be desired, others that piety and prestige should be the only wealth in life. Gold and precious stones is the only wealth our heart desires. In the golden city of Cibola, in can he that has made this desire grow fiercely for every ounce of gold for every handful of gems we want more and Cibola keeps on giving one of the seven cities of gold is ours and we intend to keep it it is ours our precious castile gets s c e Cibola gold until the end of the game giving the following effects tax income and some yearly prestige not exactly what you would think a seven cities of a seven a, one of the seven cities would give you just uh, some tax income and point one yearly prestige, but uh, it's better than nothing. That's like what a duck in a month, a free duck in a month for the rest of the game. A little bit less than a duck in a month. Cool. So I do need, um... You need Marshall Administration, which is the fourth administrative idea group, I think. The Wikipedia lists it as Marshall Administration, but this says Army Administration. I assume they're the same thing. Because they both have administration as the second word, they're both the fourth idea group. And they both have land maintenance modifier negative five percent. So I guess they just changed it from Marshall Administration to Army Administration. Uh, we could take a bunch of these. Let's see, corruption is adding. 21%, which is less than ideal. Is there a guy that gives... Okay, my current guy gives idea cost, negative 5%. I'm wondering if I... I should probably wait till I get this. Ten percent, because that's what a hundred and twenty admin I'd be saving. Might take a while though. So you know what? I'm gonna take the first couple ideas, and then I'll take the tech when I can. I'm gonna try to save up money. I don't have any. I do have rebels, but they're uh, about five years off, so I'm gonna reduce my maintenance down to the lowest it can go. Collect some money. While I wait to get a claim and yule off. The Ottomans got out of the war. They didn't lose any territory. That's unfortunate. The good news is they moved their capital over here. So that'll probably increase autonomy in the rest in the uh, Asian provinces. 
Especially since this isn't coastal anymore. The best thing that could happen is if they take these three provinces, then it'll cut off their capital. And then it'll absolutely kill them with the autonomy. Romans, do you want to, uh, you know, attack them? That'd be great. I'm gonna take this actually, this next admin idea. Should help with income. A little bit. An extra couple ducats. I'm debating keeping this idea group just because... Uh, it does give me access to... Empire. I don't like Merc Maintenance. Fort Maintenance is decent. Land Maintenance Modifier. State Maintenance. Reduce Inflation Cost is decent as well. Naval Maintenance Modifier. Yearly Inflation Reduction. Yearly Corruption. I might keep it. I gain seven people influence a year. In terms of the Trenian, see, we already have these four provinces, these three provinces, and that province. So if I can attack Pisa, I can take these four provinces. And get access to Florence. See, does France still... France still guarantees the... Papal State, unfortunately. Alright, just a couple months I'll get that uh, claim on Yolof. Should be a rather easy war. Four provinces, four countries. Slaves there, cotton there. Slaves there, and cotton here. Those are some good provinces. Dates there. Cattle, cattle, cotton, cotton, rice. Alright, for the most part, these provinces are pretty good in terms of the goods produced. So I need 1400 gold for warehouse district, 1700 for the famous university. The good thing about the university is it has good urban gravity. And then of course the art power and stuff. France declared war on Naples. What is France trying to get from Naples? 
They don't own territory over here anymore. What? The French conquest of Abruzzo? Abruzzi? Um, what? How can they take that? That's so weird. But you know what? If France is going to attack them, I might as well attack them as well. I'll do a claim on this province. Uh, and then I'm going to... Okay, so yeah, I'm going to end this part here, and then in the next part, either attack Yolov. I think I might attack Yolov, and then attack Naples. Because France isn't going to get their troops down there for a while. So the war against Yolov shouldn't take long. Let's increase army maintenance. Load them up. That has a supply limit of zero in that province. That's less than ideal. Let's move them down there. And yeah, so in the next part, I will kill Yolof and their decentralized vassals and then move against Naples. So, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.